Hey everybody, how's it going? I am your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Petaluma here in Studio MC2 at Quicksurf Internet Studios. The Geekinator is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there as well. I'd like to encourage everybody to visit us online over at quicksurf.com. You can uh, subscribe to the show and uh, check out everything that's linked up in the show notes. Um, also, you can uh, find us online over at uh, YouTube, Blip.TV, Dailymotion, Stitcher Radio, TuneIn, and uh, there's a few more places I can't remember. Um, I had kind of a little hiatus over the last couple of months. I had a major life event happen, and in the interest of privacy, we'll keep it at that. And so let's go ahead and get into the cool stuff that I found for this episode. Over at Geeky Gadgets, uh, PICE, or PICE, is a water-resistant Raspberry Pi case and camera. That's right. If you want to get your Raspberry Pi into a nice, rugged, water-resistant case that also allows you to have a camera, this is definitely something to check out. Pretty neat. It's basically a Raspberry Pi camera enclosure. They've got a nice little video. Uh, it's on Kickstarter, so definitely check it out. And uh, that's something you're looking forward to. From uh, Mashable.com, I found this uh, article, and it's entitled... It's actually not... Sorry, I've got some itch going on here. Um, it's actually not really an article. It's a, uh, uh, a photo gallery. 25 awe-inspiring images of the Milky Way galaxy. Definitely check this out. Totally awesome. If that's the one thing that you do tonight, go check out this image gallery. It's pretty sweet. Also from Geeky Gadgets, Apple is announcing a USB power adapter take-back program. There have been uh, some reports of people who bought third-party uh, Apple USB power adapters getting shocked or uh, mildly electrocuted. Apple is offering a take-back program where they give you $10 off on an authorized USB Apple USB adapter if you give them your third-party one. So pretty neat. If you have any uh, third-party USB Apple power adapters, you run the risk of getting shocked. So definitely look at uh, trading those in for a real one. From uh, likecool.com, NASA's newest, biggest rocket. I'm all totally into rockets. I love rockets. So NASA's space launch system, their SLS program, has just passed what's called a preliminary design review, meaning that we're one step closer to sending this explosive stick of awesomeness into orbit. The 70 metric ton SLS will stand 321 feet tall, provide 8.4 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, weigh 5.5 million pounds, and carry 154,000 pounds of payload. That vehicle will set out on its first mission, Exploration Mission 1, in 2017, launching an uncrewed Orion spacecraft to demonstrate the integrated system performance of the SLS rocket and spacecraft before a crewed flight. Pretty neat. I'm totally into model rocketry and, you know, all things geeky and nerdy, and this is pretty neat. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I did see uh, Pacific Rim. For those of you who are into geeky, nerdy, giant robots fighting giant monsters, it is awesome. Anyway, uh, yeah. My favorite quote of the entire movie, 2,500 pounds of awesome. That's what I'm talking about right there. From Gizmodo, is the FBI trying to expose the anonymous internet using malware? What? So over the weekend, what's happened, uh, for those of you who have heard about Tor, it's basically uh, the, the Tor net. It's basically a, a an anonymous internet where it's, you know, kind of the sub-internet. It's layered down there. It's really anonymous. Well, a bunch of it uh, went dark over the weekend, and it was because of a sting of uh, of the U.S. government um, taking down a bunch of st or stuff 
for uh, uh, child ab abuse sites. Um, and it was discovered during the course of this that uh, there's a fair amount of anonymous users out there uh, trolling this Tor net that, that is actually the FBI and uh, they're using malware that detects and exposes individual users of this dark net or Tor net, if you will. Um, this is very unsettling news, just like on the last episode where we, we reported about the NSA PRISM uh, pro, uh, program. This is a little unsettling. Uh, you know, I live here in the U.S. I'm a citizen of the U.S. Um, you know, I, it doesn't surprise me. But at the same time, it's kind of disappointing. You know, I considering the fact that my tax dollars are paying for this, that's what irks me more than anything. Over at Mashable, uh, one year on Mars, relive Curiosity's biggest moments. This is pretty cool. An ambitious car-sized rover named Curiosity touched down on Mars one year ago from Monday at 1.32 a.m. on August 6, 2012. NASA's $2.5 billion investment paid off as Curiosity landed all four wheels on the Martian surface. This is pretty neat. They've actually made it a year. There's a YouTube video, uh, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. So the first thing is seven minutes of terror landing. The first four square check-in on Mars, which is kind of cool. The third thing, Curiosity's now famous selfie. Pretty neat. Um, the first scoop of soils, the fourth thing, curiosity confirms that Mars was once suitable for life was the fifth thing. Pretty awesome. A little write up on each of those. Definitely check it out, especially if you are into science and space and all that cool sciencey nerdy stuff from Engadget, unleash your inner Marty McFly with Legos back to the future set that's right they have a back to the future set it looks awesome i want one if anybody wants to buy me one let me know i will give you a mailing address back to the future fans have waited with bated breath since lego announced that it would soon rock their worlds with a fan designed kuso set and now we finally have a release date on August 1st, Lego's Back to the Future Time Machine will go on sale for $34.99. This is obviously a little belated since it's August 6th now, but uh, I couldn't resist. This is just awesome. Definitely have to check it out, especially if you're a Lego person. That will do it for this episode of The Geekinator. As always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes. You can find those online, quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you have, thank you for subscribing. And uh, with that, I will see all of you on the next episode. See you then. Bye.